at, at least uh, from TMC sources, they are talking for long with uh, Yusuf Pathan, and but they maintain the uh, secrecy, and uh, he came out from the bus just before uh, Obishek Banerjee is going to announce the all candidates name. Rochuna Banerjee also a surprise name. Uh, who is a famous actress in Bengali cinema and also he is now famous for a uh, reality show Didi number one. A huge rally and there was a ramp uh, across the field where all the 42 candidates were made to you know walk on this ramp and wave to the crowd. It's like a, it's like a familiarity. And TMC also looking for uh, the minority vote, 100% minority vote. And that is why they are uh, filing strong candidate against Malda and Mushidabad in all seats. Hello and welcome to the Indian Express. On Sunday, Mamata Banerjee's Gorjon rally, Gorjon meaning roar, was a definitive show of strength. In that rally, Mamata Banerjee announced the 42 Lok Sabha candidates from Bengal and it was uh, full of surprises there was of course some predictable names too but there were surprises galore I have with me uh, Otri Mitra and Shantanu Chaudhuri both uh, who have both reported from Bengal for a long time they will discuss uh, the, the, uh, the names that were featured in the candidate list Otri what were the big surprises uh, um, main uh, surprise you can uh, say uh, the Yusu Patan, the former Indian all-rounder batsman uh, who represent India. Also, he represented uh, KKR also, uh, played in IPL. So, uh, and uh, the surprise is that he uh, gave uh, candidature to the, against the heavyweight Congress uh, candidate. Uh, Adhir Choudhury seat where he is uh, seven times M a MP from Berampur and uh, other than that uh, obviously Rachuna Banerjee also a surprise nam name uh, who is a famous actress in Bengali cinema and also he is now famous for a uh, reality show Didi number one in uh, so uh, these two mainly the uh, surprise uh, for TMC but other than that TMC uh, gave many young faces and uh, changed uh, five to six candid winning candidates defending candidates and also uh, where they lost in the last Lok Sabha election uh, to BJP they also changed all the candidates in all 18 seats where BJP won the Lok Sabha election and they are also some uh, permutation combinations and young faces are there also uh, in the list. I will uh, keep, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, like ask you to focus on Yusuf Pathan uh, because this name itself is a national name and people know him as a cricketer. This sudden, uh, like, you know, move to politics, right? Like, oh, what? what was he in talks with Trinamool for a long time? Yeah, uh, uh, at, at least uh, from TMC sources, they are talking for long with uh, Yusuf Pathan, and, but they maintain the uh, secrecy, secrecy uh, about her, uh, his name. And uh, yesterday, you know, he uh, came from uh, Delhi, I think uh, he came from Delhi and uh, with the top, with top secrecy, Obishek Banerjee's uh, security uh, bring, uh, brought him in the brigade rally and uh, uh, all the security cordon uh, on him and he entered in a AC bus. Uh, behind the stage and uh, he came out from the bus just before uh, Obishek Banerjee is going to announce the all candidates name and he entered into the stage and all the audience so uh, there was a lot of drama surprised. like you know yeah. because the whole setup itself was very dramatic there yeah. was a big ramp in the uh, right in the middle of the ground where people walk down so it's a very filmy drama moment for exactly Mamba. like like a, a hero 
uh, Yusuf Patan came on the ram uh, and uh, started waving his hand uh, with Mamta Banerjee and all the audience are surprised uh, seeing the Yusuf Patan. Then all the uh, and uh, Yusuf Patan named uh, then not announced uh, which uh, constituency he will going to fight. But uh, all the audience uh, understood that he is going to fight for the TMC. So that is a full uh, drama and uh, mm. that is there. But uh, TMC leadership are saying they uh, talking with uh, Yusuf Patan is going on for, for, a, long for, a, for a long time. Uh, Shantanu, I would want to bring you in here and um, just wanted to know, Abhishek Banerjee played a very decidedly uh, like, you know, uh, prominent role in everything. He was the one announcing the names. He was uh, more uh, in focus. Uh, so was that a conscious decision? Okay, yesterday we saw that the Trimul Congress announced uh, its candidate list for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. And we saw that, you know, it was a grand affair that was organized in at Brigad Pallet Ground. Because uh, we didn't see this happening for the last, you know, few times that PMC organized a huge rally and there was a ramp uh, across the field where all the two, 42 candidates were made to, you know, walk on this ramp and wave to the crowd. It's like a, it's like a familiarity, which was in, initiated mm. by the top TMC leadership. And Abhishek Banerjee uh, announced the names of the candidates. And we have seen that, you know, a, a tussle was going on between the uh, Abhishek Banerjee and Mamta Banerjee for the last few months. Uh, the sources in the TMC say that you know, Abhishek Banerjee wanted uh, to focus on the newcomers or the new faces in the as as party candidates for the Lok Sabha polls, while Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee uh, said that you know that you no know, the focus should be uh, equal equal importance must be given to the party's old timers as well as the newcomers, which was pretty evident when she had addressed a, a political uh, public meeting at uh, Netaji Indoor Stadium a few months back. Uh, from yesterday's you know, uh, candidate list, we can see that there were twelve women candidates and twenty five to twenty six were new faces. Along with that, some reputations were also there. As you know, uh, we know that TMC is a kind of party which always gives you know, emphasis to women. As you know, the 2019 Lok Sabha polls, we have seen that it candidates least you know 30 more than 30 percent were women, and this time also close to 30 percent were are women. And we see uh, we have seen some you know surprise names there like Yusuf Patan is as Atida has mentioned, and there is Rachana Banerjee who is a very popular uh, you know, face in Bengali television industry because of our popular show uh, uh, Didi, uh, Didi number, number one. one, yes. And recently, Mamta Banerjee also, also went, went yeah. uh, to that show, and you know, uh, is that when uh, she like probably started? Could the have, but yeah. we can't <laughs> say for sure. But uh, the result is always there. The outcome is there. Now, what we are seeing that you know the BJP had already announced its candidates for the twenty seats in West Bengal, and there was no such announcement from the TMC so far. And yesterday, you know, all of a sudden, all forty-two names have been uh, announced. Now, the ball is in the BJP's court. Because they now have to, you know, see the TMC candidates and, you know, finalize their names for the next uh, mm. 22 seats. Mm. So, yesterday, you know, candidate list was full of surprises and also very predictable, like, you know, heavyweight leaders like, uh, uh, like, uh, Shogoto Rai were, was, you know, kept in the list. Shudhi Bandopadhyay were kept in the list. So, Abhishek Banerjee also, he will be contesting for the third straight term from uh, Diamond Harbor Lok Sabha seat. So, it, it, it was a well-balanced uh, list between the young faces and also the party's uh, old timers and also i want to you know, point for one thing there you know now so far we have seen that you know the election notification is you know uh, due in you know, the next you know, couple of days and we have seen that the bjp has already come out with this candidate list and tmc has come out with the full list now the cpm and congress on the other hand uh, is yet to you know uh, hold serious talks on its you know uh, electoral tie up in west bengal let alone uh, announcing its candidate list because after Mamta Banerjee announced the candidates list, it was evident that there is no tie-up with the Congress in West Bengal. Absolutely, yeah, that that is pretty evident because you know all the forty-two seats are, yes. and of course, uh, Audrey Ranjan Chaudhary has come out and said that you know this is pretty evident that there is no understanding. Yeah, yeah, it, it is clear from her her party's move that you know she is going all alone in this, uh, and there is there is no way India uh, Block India Black Alliance is taking place yeah. at least in West in Bengal, Bengal because. Yeah. Uh, the, we have seen that after 2021 state assembly polls, Mamta Banerjee has canvassed across the country, you know, stitching together an opposition alliance. She went to Mumbai, she went to Patna, she went to other places mm -hmm. so that there can be an opposition alliance against the BJP-led uh, central government. 
but so far what we have seen yesterday that all those years of efforts all those years of energy is totally wasted because mamta banerjee is the one who has officially now pulled out of the india block alliance at least in west bengal so right now the ball is in the court of the cpm and the congress now they have to uh, they have to decide whether there would be a three corner contest in west bengal or there would be a four corner contest in west bengal mm. because if congress and cpm which had entered into electoral alliance in west bengal in 2016 assembly polls that you know alliance did not materialize in 2019 lok sabha polls because there was dilly dallying in holding talks the kind of you know situation is also emerging right now because there has been no serious talk so far uh, regarding the alliance so therefore they would now have to ensure whether the west bengal sees a three corner contest or a four corner contest if they both the parties go separate ways and you have to you know uh, take into account another thing that you know whenever it's a four corner contest at uh, the bjp it tends to benefit from it because the opposition votes get further divided so the bjp Absolutely. gets bjp gets benefit from that now if a three corner contest is you not know, taking shape then the bjp there is a chance that you know bjp might be concerned a bit mm. because you know at that time you know that the tmc gains so much you know we have seen that you know assembly bypolls or lok sabha bypolls in last two three years we have seen that so now you know uh, it's like uh, it's it's like uh, we have to see and wait and what, watch what is going to watch Otri, if you could tell me what has the response been to the uh, candidate list, uh, because a lot of the new people who have uh, in the list are, you know, like uh, people from BJP, like um, like you know, like uh, Kirti Azad. Sorry, uh, Kirti Azad, right? Kirti Azad was a BG, former BJP person. So, um, what has the response been? Yeah, in the TMC, there is some adverse reaction as. Uh, some of them are uh, uh, candidate uh, whose name was announced. Uh, they came from BJP, uh, and they are not uh, very much popular face uh, BJP either in the BJP either, except Sochu Gansina. Mm. Uh, so uh, Kitty Ajad was among them. Three uh, BJP MLA who uh, switched uh, their stand and. Uh, joined TMC uh, after 2021 uh, uh, assembly election uh, Krishna Kollani, Bishwaji Dash and Mukutmoni Odikari they uh, also gave ticket from uh, Raiganj, Monga and uh, uh, Ranagat so uh, there is some adverse effect uh, I think in the uh, ground level leadership of the TMC in the concern seats there are some uh, adverse uh, reaction on that and uh, a senior leader uh, are uh, tell, uh, telling uh, were telling uh, yesterday that uh, all the uh, some of the strategy of uh, choosing candidates are astonishing for, for them because um, you can uh, consider prokashik baraik who uh, chose uh, who chose as uh, rajya sabha mp 6 months ago and now he is again uh, gave ticket from another mp seats mm -hmm. so uh, uh, the leader is a, a north bengal senior leader of tmc asking that uh, why he chose as mp candidate 6 months ago if he is con he is being under considered, considered being considered in uh, mp election so is there a lack of faces is yeah, that was that, that is that is he he want to say that this means the party has lack of faces lack of clean faces mm. you know the last uh, couple of years mm. tmc uh, always uh, opposition is alleging on rampant corruption uh, all the rank and file in the tmc so tmc always concentrated on the clear clean faces so that is the problem in tmc uh, uh, pick out the clean face and make uh, them to candidate uh, in a Lok Sabha election. Mm. So th that is an adverse effect, I, I think, uh, 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 those who are made candidate from BJP and uh, other parties. Also, local groups like Bangla Pukho uh, are saying, uh, you know, there are lots of Bohira Gottos, as in outsiders. Uh, in the list so uh, that is is that will that be a concern for uh, tmc i don't think that is not the uh, uh, election concern that is not the vote bank concern of tmc because bengali uh, as a whole is not in the nature that they will not accept uh, other than bengali's or thing but 
in the political strategy if you consider the political strategy from 2021 uh, pre poll campaign time tmc always said ki bjp leaders are from outside mm. outsider they are outsider and outsider mm. are coming here para, mm. para, para trooping here and uh, they mm. don't know bengal mm. as a whole now bjp is counter attacking to tmc mm. that ki uh, kitti azad yusuf patan or satyagran sina they are not uh, know no, uh, no, bengal yeah. so why they are uh, yeah, yeah, can get yeah. candidate um uh, shantam if you could tell me like you know uh, the uh, uh, there's a the pitch has been set for a battle quite a few battles right because uh, uh, in tamluk uh, they have set out uh, they have uh, pitched uh, dibanshu bhattacharya who is the uh, it cell head of uh, uh, trinamool and that's where uh, abhijit ganguly the likely to likely to contest from and then there is of course uh, Lockett Ch- Chatterjee versus Rachna Banerjee, who are who were colleagues at one point yeah, of time yes, in yes, uh, yeah. Tollywood films, they are also pitched to bat, uh, you know, pitch against each other. Mm. So, what are, are these exciting matches, and what uh, like you know, do you think you know there'll be fireworks? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can expect such things you know, whenever an election happens because we have seen uh, earlier also uh, the contest of the heavyweights. or the contest of the uh, star powers uh, are always there in elections so we we have to see that you know there is also another you know battle of the movie stars in ghatal constituency where you know what uh, uh, sitting tmc mp dev will contest against the bjp's hiron chattopadhyay who is also a, a movie star from tollywood film industry and interestingly uh, the tmc has fielded the first time our rachana banerjee from a uh, hugli seat uh, which is you know uh, mm. won by the bjp's Lock- locket locket chatterjee Maila Mochcha, yeah, Maila Mochcha face. So it was going to be an interesting uh, 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 battle because they too also you know shared the similar relationship. Mm-hmm. They also you know acted in movies mm-hmm. before, and now it is going to be uh, you know friendly contest. I'd say because you know they are not like any political rivals. Like But now they are. Now they are, but you know, uh, I, you know, battle of the heavyweights. Like you know, you know, previously we have seen that you know, uh, like Babul Supriyo contesting against Arun Bishas mm-hmm. or Mohammad Salim against Deepa mm-hmm. Dasmunshi. So that are yet to be seen because we have to wait for the candidate list of other parties as mm-hmm. well. Then the clear picture will come. But so far, what we have seen that you know, uh, there is another uh, uh, contest that is you know, Adhiranjan. Uh, Adhiranjan, because uh, it, it, it is likely that he would contest from his seat. Although you know his name hasn't been announced by the Congress, but Yusuf Pathan is a surprise element. Mm-hmm. Okay, he is new to the politics. Uh, he has been a cricketer. He has an image, but uh, how does he deal first with the politics of Bengal? But that is yet to be seen. Mm-hmm. And another you know speculation is there that you know uh, BJP is trying to you know rope in former cricketers, although there are no you know. Uh, surety that that will happen. That BJP is also trying to get in touch with Julian Goswami and field her from Krishnagar seat against Mahuva Moitra. And if that happened, and I, I, I stress on that, if that happened, that that is going to be a good good contest mm. uh, because you know uh, that is like two women fighting it out. And, and Julian Goswami uh, is also popular. Also popular, and he he she mm. also belongs uh, from the same district, Nadia mm. and Chakda. If that happens, that is going to be another one. And also we have seen that you know uh, the uh, Abhishek Banerjee is getting his seat and. should be bondo pada is also getting the kolkata uttar uh, seat so the, whoever contests against them is going to be a very uh, you know tight contest because these are the heavy heavyweight faces heavyweight leaders of the tmc who have got in their own seat so we have to wait and watch as i mentioned yeah hugli is one ghatal is one uh, these are the some of the seats uh, that is going to you know a uh, witness a tight battle finally um, you know t- this is a question to both of you do you feel that this is a very confident list coming from trinamool uh, you know um, right before the lok sabha election uh, do they seem confident do they seem very uh, determined uh, what, what 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 is the feeling that you get from the list no they are very determined to uh, uh, take as much as number basically so uh, list also they uh, they made the list uh, making that uh, basically that reflection they want and uh, they are uh, they are concentrating not, not only the bjp seat also concentrating where left and congress are strong mm. uh, strong hold So this because uh, because in 2021 if you see the assembly election result 
TMC a massive number of seats they gained from the uh, left and Congress basin and that's why left and Congress become zero. So uh, TMC is looking for that and TMC also looking for uh, the minority vote, 100% minority vote and that is why they are uh, filing strong candidate against Malda and Mushidabad in all seats. So uh, they are basically, uh, I don't think they are not, uh, they are not in confident. They are basically trying to uh, gain as much as seat possible so they can uh, bargain in the central uh, government after the election, post poll election. What about you? Well, I, I feel that it's a very balanced, you know, uh, candidate list. You know, the TNC has always he already gave stress on the women candidates and also I've said that, you know, uh, two selected candidates who have a clean image because, you know, the last two, three years down, uh, the TNC has been battling corruption charges against the government and also two of its leaders are still in jail. Uh, so therefore, you know, it had to go for some leaders who have a clean image and you have to see that, you know, it also made its MLA's candidate in the, you know, uh, uh, Lok Sabha seats like uh, Jun Malia and others or the recently who won the you know, Dukguri Asandi Bipol, he has been also made a Lok Sabha candidate. So therefore, the, 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 it's a well thought out list and uh, Women are there and there are clean persons with clean images there and also the uh, one point you mentioned the outsiders because you know there is uh, Shatugan Sinha, there is Kriti Azad is there. Also you know they have been you know, given uh, seats where mostly uh, the population of non-Bengali voters are there. So these kind of strategies do take place in elections uh, and uh, Asansol, uh, Asansol you have to remember that he won the uh, Asansol by poll in uh, 2022. Mm -hmm. Over by a margin of over three lakh votes, mm -hmm. so why wouldn't the party go with that mm -hmm. same candidate? Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, uh, it's a well balanced list, uh, in my opinion, and we have to now wait and watch what others come up with. Also, the BJP's list in the rest of the twenty-two seats. Mm -hmm. So, as both Otri and Shantanu pointed out, uh, if the Gorjon rally and TMC's candidate list is anything to go by. Mamata Banerjee is determined to put up a fight and won't give an inch to BJP because it's basically a BJP versus Trinamool battle here without a fight. So th that's all from here. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, keep watching our videos.